Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome back to another week of Preschool Online. I want to wish happy birthdays to Isaiah and Mason, who are turning three, Stella, who is turning four, and Taylor, who is turning six this week. Best wishes for the year ahead, you guys. It's going to be a great one. I just know it. Well, did you know that no matter what, you can talk to God every day and any time about, well, everything. You can. He loves to hear from you. When you talk to God, that is called praying. And you can pray anywhere. You could pray in your room. You could pray in the school. You could pray in the grocery store. You could pray in the bathtub. You could pray holding a lunchbox, eating an orange, playing with toys. You can always talk to God. me for a minute. What do you think it would be like to be swallowed by a whale? Ugh. I think it might be slimy and maybe like fishy smelling. I think they they eat a lot of fish, especially if you're hanging out in the belly of the whale. Ugh, I don't think I'd like that. How about you? What about being spit onto the seashore by a whale? Would it be like a water slide ride? Would it hurt when you hit the sand? I don't know. Well, in today's story, we are gonna find out about Jonah's experience inside the whale's tummy for three days, how he got there, and what he did after he was spit out. So let's check out this video about Jonah and the big fish. Ooh. 
journey Jonah was on. I mean, I'm really glad that he obeyed God because who knows what else could have swallowed him up. Or it could have been a giant ice cream cone. 
that actually wouldn't have been too bad, especially if it was like cookies and cream, that would have been tasty. Well, Jonah's story makes me think of our Bible verse this month. We want to always be sure to stop and listen to God and what he has to say. He knows the best path for us, for you, for me, for us, for me. So let's stop right now and say our Bible verse together. Are you guys ready? It goes like this, Psalm 4610. Stop, be still, and know I am God. You guys ready? Let's try it one more time. Stop, be still, and know that I am God. That's in Psalm 4610. Remember that verse, it'll be good. Hide it in your heart. <laughs> well, now it's time to grab a parent and visit citypointchurch.com slash preschool. I've got some Jonah color sheets there on the website that you can download and print and color all week. It'll be great. Well, friends, I have had a great time today remembering to stop and be still and know that God is a wonderful and amazing Heavenly Father. Let's thank Him for who He is. You guys ready? Let's fold your hands and close your eyes and let's thank God for His goodness. Father God, you are so good. We love you. We know that you have the best plan for us. Help us to remember to stop and be still and listen to your voice. You guide us with that still small voice and we wanna be quick to listen and quick to obey. We thank you, Lord God, for continuing to heal Pastor Eddie's body, that he gets stronger and stronger every day. I thank you for keeping every boy and girl, mom and dad, grandma and grandpa safe and protected. Uh, thank you, God, for jobs, for provision, and for health in all of our homes. Until we meet again, we love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'm so glad that I got to join you guys today. I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Pray in your bathtub. <laughs>